leave him if you gotta leave somebody It's on her, it's on Jack Alright you guys, so let's go ahead and get into this get ready with me today. I am going to happy hour with the girls. Um, so yeah, super excited. Um, first, I already moisturized my skin. I'm going in with my prep. My primer is the Laura Mercier primer. Next, I want to go in to color correct. I'm just using my NARS concealer. It's the natural radiance. Y'all, my skin been a little iffy lately. I'm then going to go in with my Dermablend cover cream. This is my staple product. It just helps, especially since I suffer from anemia. Y'all, when I say it covers tattoos and dark circles, it's amazing. I'm then going to go in with my NARS Laguna Bronzer, y'all. The shade number four is like my favorite. Um, it's a perfect match. Um, I like to go in sometimes with the shade five if I'm looking for more of a deeper bronze look. Um, but I'm going to just use number four today. So I'm using two different concealers. Um, I'm using the NARS Soft Matte and I did use the Faux Filter. Love the combo. I'm then gonna go in with the NARS Foundation. I did decide to mix it. Um, also, just to give it a little bit more warmth, so I'm using the Born This Way Matte. So a tip when you are applying your makeup, um, if you notice you're using a lot of drying products or you just have combination skin, or just dry skin, you can always use like a setting spray, but I would recommend something that's gonna add moisture and not something that's matte depending on your skin type. Um, for me, I stay using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. Like that setting spray is amazing. It's not over drying, it's perfect, and it adds that nice moisture. And it just allows everything to just blend effortlessly. So once I got my concealer blended, I love to take my beauty blender, which is damp, and just make sure everything is nice and together. I'm then gonna go in with my bronzer from Juvia's Place. This is in the shade Dark. Um, it's the Duo. Um, and I love this, you guys. I've almost, I think, hit pan. I think I need to go get me another one because I love to use it for eyeshadow as well as for my bronzer. So y'all know when I go out, I always do like my go-to smoky. And my go-to smoky, it just ranges kind of what I'm feeling, what I'm wearing, all the above. Um, but normally it'll go from anywhere from a dark chocolate smoky to something that's light and natural. Um, just depends. I'm going in with my P. Louise base, which is what I use also for my brows um, as far as the cleanup. And then I'm just going to take my beauty blender one more time and go in underneath the eyes just to get any creasing and then i'm going to take my triangle sponge pop that thing underneath the eyes and i'm using my laura mercy a translucent honey you guys this is my favorite it has replaced the regular translucent powder for me but i love both honestly and with this stuff i do take my time um because 
I've noticed that um, by patting it on your hand, and this is something that I've been doing for years as a makeup artist, but if you pat the um, sponge on your hand prior to applying it, that's definitely gonna help with decreasing as well as the application of powder. Like you don't want so much powder. You wanna just slowly apply it and gradually add that. So like I said, we're keeping a real natural, like a natural smoky eye. So I'm gonna start out with my bronzer. I told you I love and I'm super obsessed with it. Um, I use the top shade. Um, that is like my perfect shade. Um, I love to warm my skin up with it. And so it's perfect to go into the crease as well for me. Um, and you can use anything for your transition color. Next, we're going to use this palette from Juvia's Place. Um, it's the Coffee Shop palette. I have been so obsessed because it just has all the browns that I love. I love deep tone browns. So I'm using these. Um, I typically use the bottom chocolate brown and then there's like a medium brown at the top. I'll mix those two. Um, and it just depends on how dark I want it for the day. I'm not doing too dark because we are going for a happy hour and I just don't want to do too much. Got my eyeshadow applied we are going to go in and do my waterline and i love this liner from essence it's under three dollars you guys like i keep telling y'all run to ulta i have actually picked up the black pencil as well um, and it is waterproof i'm going to go in um smoke out my lash line and i'm using the same brown that i use and i'm also using a little bit of the bronzer to warm up the lash line as well I'm gonna go in with this blush duo as well. I have not wore this blush in a long time. Now, probably on YouTube, it's definitely gonna seem like that, but I haven't did a makeup store like sit down where I've done a look using this like in a while. So I was like, you know what? Let me pick this up again. Like I love mixing the two. Um, I think this is the volume number three. I can't remember, but I know I got it from Ulta. Next, I'm gonna go in with my mascara from NARS love this mascara when it comes to mascara you guys if you are just beginning your makeup you don't always have to spend a lot of money on them there are some super inexpensive ones i know um what is it l'oreal honestly used to be my favorite it probably still is i just haven't picked one up in a long time next we're gonna go in with the fluffy lashes this is from mcd luxury co do check it out <laughs> definitely gotta plug it in you know um this is actually lash style number one in the book um, so I'm going to quickly apply those. Y'all, I've been wearing these same lashes, I kid you not, probably since, let's probably say August. Like, your girl has been rocking the same lashes. That's why I say don't play with it. Like, do not play. I'm going to go ahead and apply my lip color. And I'm starting off with Truffle Liner from NCD as well. And then we are going to go in with the Boss Matte Lip Combo, which is the lip kit. So the first color that I apply is the Wine For Me. And I really feel like with my lip kits, you can really make your own color. It's based off of, you know, how much you apply. And so I like to go in with the Wine For Me first and apply that. Now, the more you apply, the deeper, the red you're going to get because it is a burgundy. Um, and then I'm going to pop in the center my Vixen Red Lipstick. Y'all, when I say this combo, you ain't gonna be able to find this nowhere else. And if you do, you ain't gonna like it. You gonna like mine's better. But no, for real, super amazing. I love my lip kits. I love all my colors. Um, it's just not even being funny. I've used them on my clients and it's just bomb. So I'm gonna go back in and just kind of clean up the line with my wine for me. And yeah, there she is. Like she's giving. I need to add some mascara on my lower lash line. 
but the face is definitely giving. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is add some bronzer around my hairline. Um, this is my normal step that I do after taking the band off because it always, you know, it just doesn't have no foundation up there because of the band being in the way. So if you are a wig wearer, please make sure you take that band off if you all have not put your makeup on and make sure, you know, to get those edges. Um, I always feel like adding just a little bit of foundation and bronzer like around your hairline um, just makes it a look a lot more natural. So next I'm going in to set my face. I'm using the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Setting Powder, y'all. This I just adore, y'all. Y'all see the coverage that it applies? Like I've already had great coverage from my foundation, but this just gives me what I'm needing. I'm gonna finish contouring my nose. Um, I am using also my face powder to do so. I just found that it's not so harsh um, as I've used other products in the past. It looks so good and it's super natural looking. Like you still get like a nice sculpted nose, but not harsh. So I'm going back in with my translucent powder. I like to do this step um, to kind of clean up the under eye area when applying my lower lash color. Um, and this just makes everything just look put together. Um, you don't necessarily have to do this. This is just what I love to do. And then I'm gonna top that off with my highlighter in Glow Up, which is this gorgeous bronze gold Pop that on the nose and then I'm gonna quickly go ahead and style my hair and get dressed. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna try to hurry up and curl this hair. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some curls in my hair. You guys can check out the video that I just posted. If you want more details on it, I'll link it down below in the description box. Now that I got my curls in, let's go ahead and get dressed. Um, and I will have everything down below that I put on um, as well. Um, dress is from Fashion Nova. So let's get into it. I think off the shoulders is so cute. Um, for jewelry, I'm wearing these. I think like that is cute. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. I feel like the earrings is doing enough. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Be sure to subscribe if you have not, and I will check you guys in my next video. Later.